Hello, everybody! Welcome back to another episode of ARP Survival Evolved. Our gaming here. Alright, guys, so. Do a couple uh, things around the base here. Um, to kind of help with more defense. <laughs> I logged in this morning and. All of the dinos were kind of scattered everywhere. Some of them were down below here. And, yeah, that happened. So. <laughs> Uh, what we're going to do today is put some Plant Species X turrets up outside here, um, probably along the wall here. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put some uh, ceilings on the outside. Oh, hello, Trike. You're in my way. Uh, I'll put some ceilings across the uh, base down here and some rails, and I'll just have them out there. So this Trike, if I haven't told you yet, it's from, uh, this was from Spartan. He gifted it to me. Um, he tamed it up, and yeah. So, anyways, all right. Um, so let me see. Do I have any ceilings? First off, let's see here. Stone F7. Hmm. I have a door frame. All right. Well, that'll get me started on one side at least. So let's head over yonder. Come on up here, and let's put a door frame in. Uh, hold on. Nope, I want this one. That looks... Dump truck's in the way, but that looks okay there. Can I get through here? If dump truck get out of the way. I'm gonna have to find somewhere else for dump truck now. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so yeah, I'll just uh, put it over here, put some rails up, make it look nice. And then I'll have to do the same thing on the other side over there. So let's go ahead and see if we can craft up a couple. See here. Grab some thatch, some wood, some stone. Do you have any more stone? I do. Alright, let's see here. Structures. Stone. Do a door frame. And one more ceiling. I think I have some railings, but I'm not sure. Let's come on up here. Slowly but surely we will get up here. <laughs> oh, the door frame's not gonna work that well over here. I'm gonna have to Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to demolish that bookshelf and put it somewhere else then. Let me go ahead and take off from there. Oh, And then we'll uh, just go ahead and demolish this. I'll have to find another place for it. Can I fit through this door though? Oh, come on. Lag. There we go. <gasps> oh. Alright, cool. I can fit through it. There we go. Alright, perfect. So, that works for me. Slowly gonna get over here. You know what, let me just go ahead and craft up those rails. Uh, how many am I gonna need? Instead of moving around slowly like this, I'll craft them up. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and put those in my hot bar. There 
we go. And then uh, we're gonna do that on the other side. So yeah, I just want to put some uh, plant species X over here so that they don't. So that uh, I think it's Argentavises that come over here and attack our birds and stuff like that, and causes everybody to move around. And it's really frustrating and annoying, actually. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, crap. <laughs> Happens all the time. Come on up here. And then, uh... Let's go ahead and do this. Just like so. Nope. There we go. Okay. Uh, crop plots. Crop plots, crop plots, crop plots. Hmm. I need some fiber and stone, of course. Ugh. Uh, let's see here. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Plenty of fiber hanging around here. I'm starting to run, on, run low on stone now. Crap. Let's craft two of those. And let's see, I need to craft another bookshelf. Need some wood. Craft one of those up. All right. There we go. All right. So where's this bookshelf at? All right. I don't know where we're gonna place this at yet. Where could we put this so that it's out of the way? I mean, I could put it here to kind of block off that uh, <laughs> drop that I use all the time. That might be a good spot. I mean, I use it all the time, but I probably shouldn't. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and transfer all these blueprints in here. Yeah. Come on. There's a lot of blueprints. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Hopefully I can fit this out here now that I have these rails up too. Ah, bummer. Man, that sucks. I'm not going to be able to have these rails up here. Man, I like the look of it. Hmm. I still can't do it. Crap. Now I can. Alright, let's see here. Let's get these placed. Can I go in further? No. Okay. Now, let's see if I can craft up another rail and place it now. <laughs> let's see here. Let's go ahead and put this down here. No, nope, won't let me place it. Okay. Gonna turn up the gamma for you here. Oh, we're gonna have to figure out how these are gonna get water. Hmm. That's another thing. I don't know how to get water up there. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to rely on uh, the rain when it starts raining again. Let's go over here. And let's see here. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Alright, let's see. Let's 
going on here? Alright, there we go. Okay, so... We're gonna have to get some water in here. I guess I'll have to wait till the next time it rains. So, alright guys, so let's go ahead and do what we're gonna do next, which is gonna be taming up a female Rex. So, I keep saying so. Why do I keep saying so? I don't know. <laughs> I should probably stop doing that. Alright, um, next thing we're gonna do is tame up a female Rex, because I definitely need to get some Rex eggs going here. Um, we'll go for some drink darts here. There we go, we got 50 of those. And let's see, I got some Pomino Scorpius kibble. I do. There we go. And let's go ahead and jump on Warbird over here. We don't take Warbird that, that often, so we're going to go ahead and search around for a female Rex. And then uh, once we find one, I'll bring you guys back. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so... <coughs> change plans. <laughs> Uh, I flew around the island a bunch of times looking for a uh, female Rex that was a high level. I found a 112, but it was getting attacked by a bunch of mammoths, and it got killed. Um, well, now I just found a level 44 female Quetzal, and uh, we're going to go ahead and tame her up. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and get in front of her. Wow, she's flying really low all of a sudden. Where is she going? It's really weird that those things are flying so low. That's, I've never seen them do that. <laughs> hey, come here, you. Let's go ahead and... I missed! Oh, boy. It's gonna be one of those teams. <laughs> come here. There we go. Alright, so... I'm gonna go ahead and... Where'd she go? Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, knock her out. Uh, as soon as I get her down, I'll bring you guys back, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, we got her down. Alright, let's see here. Hopefully there's nothing too bad around her. I can't see at all. Where did she go? There she is. Alright. <clears throat> Come on. Alright, we just got a couple packies and a couple turtles around here right now. It looks like. Um, don't really see anything else around here. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, let me go ahead and see. Just stick another browser around here. I'm just worried. I don't want anything to attack her because I'm trying to get a perfect tame on her. Because um, I would definitely like to have a higher level Quetzal. Um, I don't know, just for other reasons. <laughs> so, alright. I don't see anything around here. Let's go ahead and see if we can find some prime meat now. Oh, this is really difficult to do because of these trees. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and take out these trees real quick. That will make it a little bit easier. That'll make it a little bit easier. Okay. Get on you now? There we go. That makes it a little bit easier. Alright, now to find some prime meat. Hmm. Nothing around here is gonna give prime meat. I see a Gigantopithecus, Carboninemies, or turtles. Trike. Hmm. Not even a Stego around here, huh? Alright. Come up here. Take a gander at what we have. 
Nothing, huh? <laughs> That's really funny. Not even any Argentavises or anything. Oh, there's an RG and a Raptor. Alright, let's see if we can go take these guys out real quick then. Oh, this is... Orbit's probably the worst bird to be using for this. <laughs> this attack damage sucks real bad. There we go. Alright. Let's go see if we can find out where we put this bird at last. Oh, I guess we didn't put it there. Where it fell at. There it is. Okay. Let's turn it alphabetical. There we go. And let's go ahead and put some prime meat on you. <laughs> I saw all this fertilizer on me. Alright, let's take this back. You don't need that stuff. Okay, so it should be about 10 pieces of meat. Um, and then we'll be all done. So, alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and tame her up, and then, uh, when she's tamed up, I'll bring you guys back. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, she's almost tamed up here. Uh, nothing bad happened in between any of this. Nice peaceful area, just parasaurs roaming around and all that fun stuff, so, um, there we go. I haven't thought of a name for her yet, um, but this is the best I can come up with. That's the best I can come up with right now. Um, it's actually one of the dragon names from Game of Thrones. So, alright, let's go ahead and check out her stats here, maybe. Nope. Come here. Chica. <laughs> Tamed at a level 65. Nice. 2700 health, 1300 stamina, 1000 weight, 245 melee damage, and 136 movement speed. So, not too bad. Um... We have another Quetzal now. Um, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to use her for yet, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so let me go ahead and get her back to base, and then uh, I'll bring her right back, guys. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, guys, we're back. Um, so, <laughs> forgot to kind of tell you guys, if you haven't noticed, uh, some of the birds have been painted. Um, Warbird here is all blue. He's got some silver stripes on him, on his wings. I don't know if you saw that earlier or not. Um, Crusher is all red and black up there. Um, Jane's painted like an eagle. Um, she's normally not black and white like that. So, um, now you're wondering, probably wondering, how do you paint these guys? Um, well, it's pretty simple actually. You, uh, you grab some paint and you grab a paintbrush and you can just hit them with it and then you can paint them so you know I have white on here right now so if I can hold control and left click to move it around and you can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel um, if you just press you know click on it you paint if you shift click it's a bigger paint blob so um, you know control and right mount button erases shift and right mount button is a bigger erase and that kind of fun stuff so this is how you guys paint right um, now where do you get the paint alright well that's pretty simple you can do it in either the cooking pot or the the uh, industrial cooker um, so the paints gonna require some berries um, and some kind of catalyst and water so by a catalyst what you're gonna need is either charcoal gunpowder or spark powder and that'll give you different colors depending on which one you're using gunpowder charcoal or spark powder so let's see here do I have any berries around here hmm probably not do I have any in here nope no berries alright so I don't have any berries in here right now alright well, let's just go get some berries real quick and I'll show you guys oh, you gotta level up weight 1400 weight on furball now Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, I had to exit the game real quick. I'll show you why I exited the game and I didn't do those settings back again. <laughs> I thought I heard something. Let's come on out here. 
just go ahead and grab some berries real quick, so. There we go. That's enough. 500 blueberries. Yeah. Plenty of berries. Go ahead and close that. And we'll come back over here. So now it makes it really easy with the industrial cooker because it is uh, already packed full of uh, water because it's already irrigated, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, let's go ahead and grab a gasoline. So we can spy weight, that way I can get... Alright, fine, I guess I'll use a hundred of it. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna use a hundred of it. Alright, and then... So I already have a catalyst in here, I've got powder, charcoal, or spark powder. So it's gonna give me a bunch of different colors no matter what berries I put in here. So if we put a bunch of berries in here, right? We'll put a gasoline in here. I already had a bunch of gas in here, so let's take that back out. <laughs> Alright. Now this goes incredibly fast with the, uh, the industrial cooker, so if we turn this on, um, right there as you see, we get a whole bunch of different colors. You know, we get the olive, navy, all that fun stuff. And uh, it basically used up all of our berries. <laughs> uh, we basically don't have any... We might get some black out of this and some blues. So, uh, it takes... Just a couple seconds with the, uh, with the industrial cooker. It's a little bit longer with the, uh, the, uh, cooking pot. But this is how you make the colors. So if we go ahead and grab some of these. So, like I said, we get all these different colors because we have the different catalysts in here and the different color berries. So, alright. Um, you'll have to experiment around and see which colors you can get. Alright, so, um... Instead of painting these guys all by hand, which is a really pain in the butt process because you can never get everything correctly painted, what you can do is you can load up a paint type. Um, where did that go? I just had... I guess this is it. Alright, so let's go ahead and select this. Yep, that's the one I wanted. So you can use a different program and you can create your own paint jobs and then you just load it up in here and it go ahead and paints it automatically for you. So... Uh, as you see here, I made this uh, polka dot color for Regal here. So if we go ahead and jump on you. <laughs> kind of cool coloring. So um, Now for some of you that don't know Game of Thrones, um, Regal is the uh, one of the dragons from Game of Thrones. And it's a green dragon with bronze coloring. So this is as close as I can get with that. So <laughs> um, pretty cool. So pretty easy way of doing all that stuff. Um... I think I also have a paint job ready for uh, Speedy as well. I think it's another green paint job. I might need some blue, I think. Let me go over here and grab it. Come here, Speedy. Where are you, Speedy? Here we go. Let me go ahead and jump on Speedy here. Nope, you're burdened anyways, so I'll just get off of you. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> here we go. Uh, so if we load a paint... Green and blue. I need some blue, so hold on. Let me get out of this. Uh, get out of here, get out of here. Let me go ahead and grab some blue real quick. Uh, <laughs> I put all my dyes on one vault here. I made up a bunch of dyes ahead of time, just so you guys know. <laughs> um, plus, I was also experimenting around with some of it. Because I didn't use the paint program before, and I needed to figure out how to use it. So I was experimenting around with it, and that's what we got. So, alright. Um... Speedy. It's a load of paint. Uh, not that one. This one. Alright. I'll go ahead and select that one. Alright, so... Came out kind of neat. I don't know why the bottom of the wings didn't get painted. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Let's go ahead and jump on you and see what... Oh, no, they did. Um, Alright, I need to move you out of the way and you have a bunch of stuff on me let me go ahead and put this stuff in here really quick don't let me forget it <laughs> Here, speedy i want you speedy can you move now are you too heavy now no you're not too heavy now all right so let's go ahead and bring speedy out here so kind of a neat little pattern i did on speedy here green with some blue stripes pattern so not not bad uh, came out kind of weird on the face, but 
Um, it's really hard to do on the paint program just because of how it squishes the image and all that fun stuff. But other than that, it's pretty cool. So, all right, guys. Um, I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, we did a lot of stuff today. We got uh, a bunch of. We got a new Quetzal. Um, we didn't get the T Rex that we planned on. Uh, we got the crops ready to go for the Plant Species X out here. Um, I need to plant the seeds. I'm waiting for water for that. I'm waiting for it to rain at least. So, um, and we learned how to paint the birds. So, all right, guys. Um, that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you next time. If you like the video, press that like button. Um, you guys can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You guys can see the rest of my art videos and some Fallout 4 videos. So, all right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>